Hi, I'm Emily, and I'm the Castle Girl. Today, I'm at Carnassery Castle. Carnassery Castle was a five-storey tower house and hall castle, built between 1565 and 1572. Its location is in Western Scotland, in the north of Argyll. It overlooks Kilmartin Glen, an area in Argyll, which is an historic site housing standing stones, stone circles, cairns and carved rocks. The castle sits on raised land overlooking the inland pass to Kilmartin, and was locally referred to as the Heron, due to its notable height dominating the landscape, looking over the Kilmartin Burn. Carnassery was built by the Reverend John Carswell, Rector of Kilmartin, who later became Bishop of the Isles in 1565. Carswell is more famous for translating the liturgy by John Knox in Gaelic, the book is a guide to practising the Protestant religion and was the first book ever to be translated to Gaelic. The castle was built to control the northern entrance to the Glen during a time when civil war was a threat between the Catholic Queen Mary and the Protestant lords. Carswell had served at the Chapel Royal at Stirling Castle, where his interest in architecture was influenced by the stonemasons of James V. You can see some remains of this Renaissance influence in the decorative stonework at Carnassery and its unique floor plan. The castle itself was a five-storey keep and a three-storey mansion house. The structure is mainly complete except for the roof. Above the entrance to the castle is a Renaissance-style, two-tiered, carved armorial stone panel. The inscription reads, translated from Old Scots, God be with Odubna, which is the ancient name for Clan Campbell. This was a dedication to the bishop's patron, Archibald, the fifth Earl of Argyll, who was a devout Protestant. On the ground floor, you can see remains of storage cellars and a kitchen area with a large fireplace on the west facing wall. Also on this floor you can see a display of fallen masonry and drain water spouts which are decoratively carved. On the first floor Accessed by a staircase in the northwest tower, which also houses a well, is a drawing room with a stone floor still intact and a large decorative fireplace. This room has an access doorway that may have connected to the banqueting hall on the same floor. From this room, up another spiral staircase, leads you to a now railed parapet, which has extensive views around the area and down inside the castle too. You can walk around this on three of its sides. On the west side of the castle is a walled garden and an archway that has an inscription dating to 1681, which refers to Sir Duncan Campbell and his wife Lady Henrietta Lindsay.
There is a rocky knoll beside the castle on the north side. This may have been an earlier medieval fortress or even a prehistoric dun. Bishop Carswell died in 1572 and was buried at Urchatton Priory. During the late 19th century, his stone coffin was dug up, revealing a skeleton of seven foot in length. This would have made Carswell an exceptionally tall man, considering the era and local area where he was born. After Carswell's death, the castle was then sold to Donald Campbell of Auchinleck in 1643 and the Earl of Argyll and the Campbells held it until 1685. In 1685, the Protestant Earl Archibald Campbell IX, Earl of Argyll, supported the Duke of Monmouth, the illegitimate child of Charles II, during his unsuccessful Monmouth Rebellion. This was an attempt to dispose of the Catholic King James II of England and 7th of Scotland. The Earl was executed on the 30th of June 1685 and the Campbells, rival clan the Maclean's of Turloisk, raided and burned Carnassery Castle. The castle has remained a ruin ever since. The castle is now listed as a scheduled ancient monument and is in the care of Historic Environment Scotland. Thanks for watching and I look forward to visiting a castle near you. Bye!